Hi, so how to play uh, Skyward Sword on uh, Dolphin using the Switch controllers. So besides Dolphin, I well, I'm, you'll need this app called Better Joy for Simio. That's the URL for it. And then we need to go here. This is the one I tried and it worked. So not version five, but version uh, six. So we go here and download all of this. And then it's going to look like this. And then once you turn it on, it's going to look like, where is it? Like this. Now we need to pair the joy cons with the windows. Now I did pair them before, but since then I've put them back into the switch, which means now they're still paired, but they will not work. So I have to delete them from there and repair them again. And you'll have to do this every time if you put them back inside in the actual switch. So, uh, Bluetooth, and you can see I already have them here, but they're not going to work. So I'm going to have to remove device. Same for the other one. But if you never pair them, you won't have them there. And now to start the pairing, there is a button and we start with the left one first. There is a button on the inside here. We just hold it for a bit until it starts doing this. Then uh, add Bluetooth and now it's here. So connecting, done. And you notice it already pops up here. The same for the right one. Click for a bit, add Bluetooth. John Con right done. And just to double check, everything's fine. If you click on this uh, locate, it will start to vibrate. So now they are paired. So if we launch Dolphin, we go into controller. Here in this section where we have emulated we actually not that one. We need this one. Trying to remember background input, alternate input source. So you to make sure that one is checked. And this IP address and port here should match. Uh, There's an arrow here. So if we toggle that, should match this ID here and port. So if they match, now everything is fine. So this tool that recognizes the joy cons, it's connected to Dolphin. Now we go here into configure and uh, if we go to motion input, you should see things. Which one is it? So this is the, the right one. So that one's working. And then extension motion input, this is the other one. So this is working as well. So back to motion input, no, general and options. So now you need to also configure the other buttons. So A, B,
So click here, then press A, B, press the B one. Uh, one, I did have the X, I believe, yes. And number two, you can you can also pair two two buttons to do one thing. So see here I have share and option. So that's the plus and minus at the same time. So to to, to pair, uh, pair two buttons to do one thing, we right click, and then uh, let me get rid of this here. So I want plus. So if I press plus. Actually, I need to click detect. So now it's, if I press plus, plus it's it identified as options. So I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to use an operator and, not the plus one, the and one. And then I'm going to detect again. And I'm going to press minus. So that's share. Select. Apply. OK. So now the number two on the original uh, Wiimote is pressing plus and minus at the same time. R2, minus I had it set up to be R2. I never know which ones are which. So R2, no, that's L. R2 is... Yeah, is this one? This one it's used. It's used a lot when you choose things, when you choose a grappling hook and bow and arrow. So uh, I've put it here on this one. Um, home, it's not that useful even though I think I put it on the actual home button on the Joy-Con. Uh, then the D-pad, same thing, so up, down, left, right. Extension nunchuck checked, that's fine. So now going back to motion input, this is something that you may want to change, this angle here. 50, I noticed it worked for me. Uh, dead zone, 2, 3, this worked for me. So this is the left one, no, the right one. Then extension motion input. Actually here in extension motion simulation. So uh, shake, I've basically, uh, when you shake, you just pull your shield and sword in like a split second. You're ready for battle, so to speak. So I've put it on, uh, on R1 here. So all the axes, so click here. R1, click here, R1, click here, then again. So now when I press this, it's doing a shake and it's going to uh, pull out its sword. Uh, extension, so this will be the... Uh, this left, no. Yeah, the left stick. So this is how you control link. You can calibrate it like this. Finish. Now the C and Z button, I had them as C is L1 and Z is L2. Uh, I, sp I spent hours remapping things for it to kind of make sense with these two things. 
and I found it it, it worked fine. Uh, dead zone fifteen percent. There was something about this thing here, device. Doesn't, I don't think it matters. So whatever the default is, if it's not working, just maybe play with these things. But either way, should should be fine. And you can also give it a name and save it. So now we can close this one. I'm going to quickly go over the graphic things if you I'm I'm running Windows on an iMac. So these are probably low if you have a proper gaming PC, maybe you can put this higher up. But this this worked for me. Uh, so yeah, pause and look at the things. Skyward Sword. So uh, still vibrating. Okay. So leave them on the table, kind of pointing your screen. And this is the point where they need to kind of be. So now with the right one, press A. Start. Now I'm at the end of the game. Well, before the end. So uh, just to, I'm not going to go into So the nunchuck, see, this is the, the shake. This is the menu thingy. So you hold the trigger. There is something like this. Uh, yeah, so holding B, you can choose between stuff. So now uh, which one was it? No, no. No. I forgot. Okay, so now with A, and then plus and minus, that's kind of the menu. Home. Option, uh, alt enter to exit full screen. And now I'm going to close Dolphin. Somewhere there's a window asking me if I really want to quit. 
yeah can't, can't really get to it anyway that's pretty much it hope it helps someone <laughs>